Yeah, yeah, I think that, well, yeah, because we've lost the game and you never want to lose lose games. I think uh, first half, I know we didn't play as good as we've been, but I don't think there was anything in the game. I don't think they were particularly particularly good at the, um, as well. Uh, obviously, the, the, the penalty was, was the difference at, at half time. Um, there was no doubt that we needed to, to play play better second half. We did. Um, you know, we created a load of chances. For me, the, the Jed Spence goal is is a huge error from the linesman. You know, the left wing back, left full back, whatever he was, um, has, has played an obvious attempt and played Jed in. Um, and um, um, that's that's cost us. In saying that, we missed a load of good chances as well. You know, we had a couple in the first half for grabs, and um, we, you know we've created enough. Or more than enough chances in the uh, in the second half to get at least at least one. So there's no no doubt the best team in the game lost, but sometimes it goes that way. What about that penalty decision in the first half? What did you what did you make of it? What did you see of it? Um, I haven't seen it back too clearly. Only on the widescreen images. I think there's I've heard that maybe there was a Luton hand ball before it. I'm not sure Jack could have done anything about it. Is it in the box? I don't know. So I haven't got a clear opinion on it. Um, um, and there's not much more to say on it, really. You know, sometimes them things go your way. Sometimes they go, they don't. If it's at the other end, I'm pretty sure I know what the decision would have been <laughs> the way that the, uh, the, the 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 officials did today. But um, yeah, we we, move, we have to go on with it. Yeah, and that's the thing, isn't it? You need a, a very quick response because you've only got another couple of days before you're playing. Well, it's, yeah. I mean, we were going, we were going to lose a game at some stage. You know, we were in, in on a good run. We were in good form. We were playing well, scoring goals. Um, but I just said to the players there, you know, everything that I've just told you, plus we were going to lose a game at some stage, even if we didn't really deserve to lose. So um, now we have to show that we can we can handle that. You know, I don't want to see any disappointment in the training ground tomorrow and um, um, we get on with it. You mentioned those chances you created in, in the second half and, and got the ball. You know, I mean, Luton couldn't get out there their own half, could they, for much of it? Uh, but just to go back to that Jed Spence goal, it was played, so it was played to Jed by Luton. Defender is, is that uh, what yeah, you saw? yeah. He's tried to is, is an obvious attempt on the ball, and um, that he's made, made a, a bit of an error. But he's played Jed in, and Jed has scored. So um, I personally don't think that that should, you know, uh, a mistake like that should happen at this level, at this game, at this time of the season. I've just said to Sky there, I'm surprised of the the appointment. Um, you you know you get different levels of referees in in your league, and I'm surprised of it today, and it sort of proved it to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know you don't like talking about the officiating after matches, mm. but after a game like that, you you kind of have to, don't you? Well, yeah, because he's had such an impact on on the game. Um, I'm trying not to say anything you know too derogatory, because I could. Um, um, but yeah, it's everyone saw everyone saw it, but you know, he'll end up suffering himself when when it gets looked back by by his. Um, assessors or bosses or whatever. What he did do was send Sonny Bradley off and for a few minutes you got that numerical advantage. Mm. Um, first of all, I wonder if you'd managed to keep that, whether it would have made a difference. It looked like it might have done. And secondly, how's Keenan? And Scott has come off as well with, with hamstrings. So, um, so yeah, we don't know how bad, whether it's fatigue, whether it's, um, you know, whether they're injured. Um, they've definitely come off with, uh, with uh, feeling the hamstrings. So we'll have to see how that is in the next 24 hours. Yeah. I guess sometimes it can be a little crampy thing, can it? And you yeah, don't quite like know I whether said, it's gone. Yeah, and I don't want to make any assumptions at the moment. I think we need to we need to get back to the training ground now. We need to recover. We need to get everyone checked over and and see where we're at, where we're at come Monday. And not easy to recover quickly after a bruising encounter like that. No, it has no no. It is. It is. It's got to be. You know. And I just said to the players there, we've shown lo lots of good sides to our um, to our game, to our mentality, and um, we, we we need to show another one for for Monday. And um, you know, nobody wants to lose a game, but we've lost a game, so we've got to show that we can we can deal with that and move on move on quickly. And I just said the players, if I see any disappointment in the in the dress uh, in the uh, training ground tomorrow, then that's when I'll really have the hump, you know. So um, so that's that's that'll be our approach. It goes back to what you've been saying all season: is that you forget about wins quickly, you forget about defeats quickly, exactly. you move on. Well, you know, whatever happened in this game, we were still going to play West Brom on Monday. Um, so stick to the plan, get the approach. You know, get the frustration out of us today, and um, you know, we love working and playing for this for this huge football club. So let's go and represent as best we can in the next game.